Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Spellbinders Report. What you're looking at right now is Nabaru. Uh, this is what's on Worldwide Telescope. Apparently their system is a little different than I thought it was. I am now going to back off. I'm going to first show you that it's unclassified. Classification unidentified in LEO, name of object. And it's at 9 hours, 47 minutes, 58 seconds. It's at 13 degrees, declination 1723. It has no distance. It has uh, no nothing on it. This is very, very, very interesting. I heard people have been doing videos on this. And I decided, well, let me take a look at this. I'll go through and see if I can bring this up. This is, uh... It seems like it's still not quite swung around under the sun yet and between Venus and Earth's orbit if it's coming in that way. Uh, I have, what I did here is I ran the... I can't even do that. I ran the time up, the observing time, back to uh, 726 this morning universal time I believe let me find out no, I'd be 1126 universal time I'm going to run it back forward again until well let me just go and put it at now there it is now it's the sun's eclipsed it right now that means there will be it's right there where the plus is oops I moved it but it will be right there on the other within the sun now if I go back though, go to a thousand X and move the sun back in its orbit or reach our orbit and there it is. It comes back out from behind the sun and it's an unknown object and that's awfully big not to have an identification or been recognized by astronomers I mean, anytime soon. It's just pretty wild. And I'm going to stop it, pause it right there. And I'm going to back it up so you can see about where it is. I'm going to go to another setting that was two mass imagery infrared. I'm going to put it on iris improved processing. And there it is on there. And that's what it looks like on that. This is actually a star down here. Or HR, or actually it's a uh, galaxy, HR 3882, there's a star, Leonis 23. Uh, unknown what that object is there, it's green. It kind of looks like something else, I don't know. But these are the two, let's see, here's two mass and near infrared. And that's got to be it there. See, it's going up here and showing classification galaxy, so I have to actually go closer so it doesn't try to grab whatever. See, whatever's inside this this crosshairs is what it tries to identify. So if I accidentally move this up too far, it'll catch a galaxy above it. Maybe move it right to the center where there's no galaxy. It would still say classification unidentified in LEO. Okay. Now I'm going to take it back to the regular two mass imagery, which gives you the red star. And if you're wondering what that big glow down here was, that was near infrared. That was actually. Uh, HR 3882 where it says classification star in Leo okay now we got that taken care of now to go to uh, the one that everyone talks about on sky or, on, or Google sky and this shows you everything too this is in the infrared and you cannot see this outside of infrared. 
this is not a very good image of it but yet it shows you that there's that big black spot there's the Sun there uh, there's Venus Mercury where did I see Mercury at well Mercury's on here somewhere oh, where did I lose Mercury at huh oh well Mercury's on here believe me it's it's here somewhere because I can see it on the world wide telescope view I'm sure there's something on here that I can identify planets with it should be on but as you can see there it is an unidentified object on world wide telescope these seem to be here stars or something I cannot tell they will probably say unknown also on it. But this object is way too big not to be recognized. And they don't got it quite focused. So you really can't see what Arizona was saying. In Freedom Radio about the uh, iron oxide clouds around it. But you can see that it does have like a gaseous clouds. You can actually see this stuff. Oops, you can actually see this stuff over here coming down and around it well I'm gonna leave it here for now because uh, I just wanted to show you that yes you can find it on worldwide telescope if this is it and this is in uh, this is in Leo as you can see in Google sky this is Leo there's Regu Regulus right here uh, there's Leo 23 there's the object at 940 it shows close to 948 13 though that's right on line with 13 and that's about all I can really show you I'll go back to this one where it's neater looking I can see we can back it up so you can see all of Leo there's Leo's main front paw Regulus is right there Sun's right there see I told you in my last video it fell into the Sun because uh, Leo's fell into the Sun and it will be probably next month before this all clears in the morning sky over on this side where you'll be able to actually see it again before the Sun comes up because it's way too close to the Sun right now I actually get a good look at it it's still in uh, evening dusk or actually this sunset alrighty then there you go there it is what everybody's been wanting to see well I found it finally and was finding found out how to use the instrumentations on this program finally I know that I haven't found anyone else talking about it but as you zoom in there it is I, I, I'm telling you that object should be classified it should have a classification to it but as you can see no classification no magnitude nothing but it fits the uh, Arizona's coordinates perfectly and he just said this thing is coming right at us it's coming quick now because the closer it gets the faster it's going to do as it does its swing around to gain escape velocity I said the way it comes in it never gets close enough to the Sun to get captured by it but gets close enough to gain speed and be and be able to pull away the problem is how close will it be to us when it does pull away because he says that it's going to grab our southern pole and flip us like a kick in the ass is what he said exactly and it's not going to be a pretty sight for 40 minutes on the entire world all right now I guess I'll leave it there until next time this is Spellbinders report on Nabiru and its location right now as you can see it's right now it's over the sun. It'll probably come out the other side here shortly because it looks like it's moving pretty good. If I had the uh, coordinates in there. Because this is now. Let me run it ahead to see what it does.
as I run it faster. It will come back out from the back of the sun. So you can see it. It looks like it's going to be just about tomorrow sometime before it clears the sun. I'm just running it ahead. This is a thousand times. This is now the 18th, 253, a universal time. Should be about ready to pop out right now. Yeah, about six at six um uh, we this is in 24 so it'd be 6 a.m universal time on the 18th it will pop back through the other side of the sun okay now let me stop this again and i'll get off here now and post this and that you take a look at it I'll have the coordinates listed for this so you'll all be able to go and look at it and if everyone knows how to use a worldwide telescope you'll be able to see this and I'll have a link to a video where the guy actually shows you all this stuff and how to get get to it and be able to set the uh, infrared settings so you can actually see Nabaru until next time, this is Spellbinders Report. Be good or be good at it. And good day.